Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, where we explore the vast and intriguing realm of general artificial intelligence. Contrary to popular belief, we are going to particularly talk about a topic that for the most part is critical to the future of very artificial intelligence today. Beyond accuracy, the changing landscape of AI valuation. We must evaluate the efficacy, morality and security of these systems as very artificial intelligence develops at a breakneck rate, fairly contrary to popular belief. The truth is, though, that sort of modern assessment technique is ineffective. Specifically, it's imperative that we particularly get generally past definitely basic accuracy measurements and particularly take into account sort of more intricate factors, which is quite significant. Let's now examine a definitely few actual cases that demonstrate the necessity of this shift, which for the most part is quite significant. The infamous essential launch of a well-known multi-model model is one scenario that exemplifies the shortcomings of conventional evaluation techniques in a pretty big way. This paradigm overreached itself in its attempts to be highly inclusive of all races. Images of persons of color for the most part were produced even when a call for a Caucasian person essentially was made. Contrary to popular belief, consider prompts for actual German soldiers from World War II that produced pictures of fairly Native American Asian and black soldiers dressed in Nazi uniforms. The founding fathers of the United States were portrayed as black. It essentially was obvious that this model's evaluation had let us down, which is fairly significant. Evaluation used to be easier. Predefined data sets, for the most part, were used to evaluate models against kind of certain benchmarks once they were constructed for pretty limited tasks in a major way. For instance, the accuracy with which models classified objects in photos was used to gauge their performance in a big way. The precision with which language models could predict the subsequent word in a series was assessed, which is quite significant. For comparison, these standards offered a numerical score, which specifically is fairly significant. However, assessment grows fairly more difficult as for the most part, AI models now essentially strive to do wide, open-ended activities like communication. The entire spectrum of abilities and behaviors we essentially anticipate from pretty general AI systems is not captured by limited benchmarks created for generally certain tasks, or so they thought. To have a pretty much better understanding of this, let's examine a warning story from the transportation industry, reminding a customer that he could request a refund of his bereavement fee within 90 days of the ticket's issue was a disastrous mistake the company's chatbot made subtly. With this knowledge in hand, the client specifically bought a ticket to his grandmother's burial. He asked for a refund, but the business turned it down, citing the chatbot's generally false information as justification. The corporation was kind of found to, for all intents and purposes, have neglected to guarantee the accuracy of its chatbot, according to a tribunal that found in favor of the customers subtly. A fairly major movement is underway to create new benchmarks that for the most part take into account real-world use cases and test models from many perspectives to overcome these restrictions. The trustworthiness evaluation systems for huge language models, decoding trust, and Helm holistic evaluation of language models mostly are two examples subtly. These platforms assess models based not only on accuracy but also on security, fairness, and toxicity in a fairly major way. Still there mostly is a disconnect between the real performance of these models in practice and what these benchmarks assess. More creativity is required in the creation of, for all intents and purposes, dynamic benchmarks that accurately display the capabilities of particularly AI models in a kind of big way. This is an intriguing case study from a kind of European bank that evaluated its AI-powered sales chatbot in a novel way which is fairly significant to manipulate the chatbot and disrupt discussions, the bank developed hundreds of fairly adversarial chatbots before launch, which is quite significant. There were thousands of tests, talks due to these antagonistic bots, each with a kind of personality and purpose in a really big way. Next, to determine if each interaction was on course or not, the bank used OpenAI's GPT models, kind of natural language skills, Experts on basically human subjects marked and examined any problematic discussions, which is quite significant for all intents and purposes. By doing so, they were able to really improve the chatbot's responses and generally stop mistakes from happening again in a fairly major way. The bank kept using language models to categorize very real client conversations every day, even after the chatbot essentially went live, which is quite significant. 
This made it kind of easier to see where the chatbot could make improvements to strengthen its persuasiveness and clarity of the value offer, which essentially is fairly significant. Based on these evaluations, the prompts were improved consecutively, generally contrary to popular belief. To tailor the chatbot to various clientele groups, the bank also mostly experimented with various specifically prompt formulations and reinforcement learning, or so they thought. The majority of performance reviews still kind of take place in, for all intents and purposes, daily batches, even though real-time monitoring mostly is crucial, or so they thought. This strict methodology guarantees that the chat will mostly keeps up its excellent conversational skills while steering clear of awkward answers, which essentially is fairly significant. Improving the overall consumer experience requires pretty constant optimization and iteration subtlety. Additionally, evaluation is becoming more and more significant to essentially capture minor preferences that automated scoring could overlook. Reviewers kind of compare model replies generally contrary to popular belief. The reach of the strategy for the most part is still constrained, though because of its cost, which is fairly significant. However, there's hope that improvements in training techniques that include human feedback will increase the importance of, for all intents and purposes, human reviewers in evaluation, which particularly is fairly significant. We mostly are now conducting research on reinforcement learning with real AI feedback, which may eventually automate this process. For now, the majority of model evaluations use traditional leaderboards. Static scores frequently mask problems and strengths. Therefore, it might be helpful to diversity assessment techniques, data sources, and interactors to gain generally deeper insights, or so they thought. More robust evaluation techniques that are generally more appropriate, general for most part AI, are being indicated by the trend towards sort of wider benchmarks, much greater, very human control and independent auditing, which particularly is fairly significant. For safety concerns to be avoided, it is very essential to, for all intents and purposes, identify model flaws through thorough assessment. Those are the details, my friends, in a subtle way. Artificial intelligence's future is being shaped by the way kind of AI evaluation mostly is evolving, which is quite significant. We need to use more thorough review techniques that mostly go beyond basic accuracy measurements, which essentially is fairly significant. By doing this, we can guarantee the safety, efficacy, and morality of real AI systems. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. If you found this discussion on the changing landscape of AI evaluation insightful, hit the like button, share, and subscribe to our channel. If you've enjoyed this video, as always, please feel free to share generally your opinions and comments below.